What you are seeing now is the Celsius Podcast backup episode, so please enjoy. Coming up on the next episode of the Celsius Pod. Bro, my outfit it goes so hard. Dan Schneider will be in prison. I'm like, Beck, this is nuts. We can't podcast under these conditions. If that person was not in public, I would have beat the shit out of them. Are you ready? Yeah. It's still dead. It's still out of battery. You I need to you charge all. this. Oh my god, Aiden. All right, guys. It's the start of the podcast, episode seven. Wait, we're still Lord, <laughs> Wait a minute. Just kidding. It's, it's the not back episode. Up episode. Back up hey, episode. If you're watching guys, this, really... something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> Mostly, <laughs> Nicola died. Nicola kills Beck and is in prison, or Uri died. So those so are the three he options. He couldn't usually. episode the. He couldn't edit the episode. It was. It was. Guys, bad guys, fate. you're really ruining the effect of a backup episode when you're saying it's a backup episode. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not a backup. We're just making fun. We're just actually making fun of okay, what, would, so what we would do if it was a this is, episode. This could be episode two hundred. But I doubt it. If this was a backup episode, episode 200, we would <laughs> scrap the episode and release it you earlier. I wouldn't place a guess for which number we use this for. We currently, uh, last week was 70. My guess is 86. 75. I'm going to go 10 before that, 76. I'm saying okay, I think okay. this is going to be episode 70. No, episode 70 is already being edited, bro. Oh, oh, okay, I, okay. I, oh, I got it, I got it. I think yeah. this is going to be episode 65. Yep. Okay, Good cool. Yeah. yeah. I think, I definitely, this is definitely in the 70s, I think. In the, yeah, it's in the 70s no, also. 86, That's what I, 70, 86, right? 6. 76. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm sorry. Get those I'm going to sing a song on my 86. Well, it's, we'll gonna, make it's it gonna be like something like the summer, and one of us is traveling. I'm gonna make like it Nicola. a 76. No, yeah. I think we just scrap Nicola over the summer. Yeah, I know we do another Steven Universe arc, but I'm gonna be here this entire summer. I can actually do Ooh. it this summer. But, but guys, Nick, Beck has to watch all the land before time. Season. Yeah, That's I have his to arc. rewatch all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. All right, let's get yeah, into yeah. what we're watching with no topical. Um, Topics because we don't know when this Kinda is coming out. me up because I've only watched like one thing this week He's and that would F1 be invincible. And the race is going to be like six months old when this is released. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. To be fair, that's actually true. We also true won't be talking about any series or um. Yeah, continued the only watching two things that I've we're watched, doing. The only two things I've watched is uh the F one and Invincible, which are both not. Yes, to be about we cannot talk about it. Can't work. So, so I have um, oh, I have a little activity for us. What, like, yeah, what if we what wait for Thanksgiving and then we each come up with a word we're thankful for corresponding with the letters? <laughs> mm, <laughs> That's a great idea. I have an idea. That sounds like an original idea. Um, yeah? Let's predict what's happening in the future by the time this episode is out. Ooh. Uh, who do you think won the election? We're not doing that. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not getting... This is coming out way before the uh, election. Um. Okay, so... You so Hmm. I I'm I'm gonna guess that uh Wiley Coyote has been leaked. Ooh, that's a I'm gonna guess that Acme is completely never spoken about again. Hmm. I'm gonna um, guess we're at we're at 200 subscribers already. Ooh. I'm gonna guess. Actually, no. Five actually, actually real guess. No. My <laughs> guess. Guys, he's having that's a stroke. Good. Save him. <laughs> Dan Schneider will be in prison. That's right. a guess. quick. <laughs> my guess, my guess, my guess is that one of us one. here. The, the guy who's won every single race one won, of won us. the series. No, one of us in this podcast will be dead. Something is going to happen to them. Oh, that's a really good one. Mm. Okay. I yeah. can't wait to see that come happen. My coming favorite happen. is like when bands tweet out something big is coming. It's going to be like that, except something big is coming. Um, yeah. Speed of something that happened. Nicola, do you want to talk about Evangelion? Starting off with a big one? Mm. But Beck, that's too topical. Well, that's not too topical. 
How is that topical? How is that topical? It's, that came out it's the big, really came out 20 movie. years ago. What the fuck yeah, are you talking 20 about? Years ago. We can talk about it. <laughs> okay, so there was a special <laughs> re-release. Okay. So there's a special um, re-release in theaters, and we went to watch it last Wednesday. So it was in I show not, up. Okay. not last Wednesday. No, uh, yeah, some no. when some Wednesday. No, it was last Wednesday. This is not. This is not a pre. This is not a uh, scripted. This is not like a. Uh, uh, this is actually a normal this episode. This is a normal episode. I've, yeah. I've just been lying. They've been lying to you guys all. They've been making jokes. This actually, we're filming this just right before. They they just thought it would be really funny. Sorry to break the joke, but this is actually just a normal episode. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So. Uh, but we didn't say the weather of end of Evangelion. Well, no, because we can't let I can't let him know the weather because it'll date. Oh the yeah, episode. it'll date the weather. Okay. Oh yeah, and it'll get rid of your guys' joke. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So the okay. end of so Evangelion is one the of the highest rated is this movies of highly all time. rated movie of all time. <laughs> and it I came out twenty years ago. Twenty year to anniversary. critical acclaim, and it's been one of the most un un uninterpreted, like non. Tangible, it's very unintelligible is what he's trying to say. Confusing endings of a sh- of a show. They have because a, it's they also have a live that live action section for some reason. Yeah. And some guy throws up gang signs in the up. middle of it. He showed up for three reasons. One, to hear that intro. I wanted to hear the do 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 do, and then do, they do, didn't do, play do. it. That's not in the movie. So little, <laughs> yeah, but they didn't play it. I'm still kind of sad about that. Number two, I showed up. To see that red bitch get murdered. Doked out. She never canonically dies on screen. She doesn't die, exactly. So that's another disappointment. And number three. Dune Bucket. So guys, I when I was booking these tickets for the film, I saw a really weird thing I hadn't seen ever before. You know, usually mm-hmm. when you book a ticket, it has the movie rating on it. This one said yep. NR. And I'm like, what does that no. mean? Rated. I used my investigative journalism to figure out it meant not rated. Yeah. And there is a reason that it is not rated. A lot of the opening stuff scene. happens in this film. A lot of stuff One we the, cannot the talk about on the minutes. podcast. In the first five minutes. Let's just we say. We talk about it on the podcast. <laughs> All I'm going to say it's, is that uh, life would be a paradise if that stupid little child just got in. God to pilot his mech instead of complaining about his stupid little life. The whole plot of the movie is there's this guy, Shinji. He is very depressed. And he is like a pilot in a mech. But like, and then every every government in the entire world is trying to attack the base that has all the mechs. And he's like, starts sitting there and it's like... It's not every government in the world. It's just the United Nations. Okay, that is every government in the world, Nicola. Do you know why it's called the United Nations? Because the nation's united. No, well, because it's in this world, it's kind of not. It's like it's all. It's, it's very like it's confusing thing. lore. I did not even under. I can't even understand. Bro, I even I understand. It's not that confusing if we, if you just take a second Bro, to think about Nicholas it. Nicholas is pretty fucking stupid. So okay, so shut the fuck. Up. So he, shut the fuck up. He shut the there fuck and up. He doesn't want to pilot the mech. Fuck you. I gotta say, two thirds of this okay. film is him sitting there being like, "I don't want to do this," but eventually he gets in his mech. And then he bonds with, or no, um, this girl Ray bonds with a guy who's pinned to a cross. Um, and then they uh, form a monster okay. Stop, with wait, Ray's wait. face. He moves and then they cause before something. Before he moves wait, back, 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 yeah? before you keep talking, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Have you heard of Adam? Have you heard of Lilith? Have you heard of? From Hasbun Hotel? It turned to me in the middle of the movie. Like, Hasbun Hotel reference? Adam? What the fuck? I turned to him, I turned to him after, when she was starting to enter Lilith. And I, was, and I was like, I was like, wait a minute. Adam? Lilith? Eve? Holy shit, the entire thing's a Hasbun Hotel reference. It's all about Hasbun Hotel. No way! Okay, but eventually... The best show of all time. Through some weird, like lore that I can't explain here because I would take another 20 minutes. Every single human is turned into turn Fanta, Fanta, and then Shinji is like <sighs> the guy in charge of the whole Fanta um, mix of humans, and then he uh, decides uh, uh, that life initially. is He's worth living. Um, and then it cuts to um, 
a montage of like a lot of different uh, lights wow, happening. A little baby. Then he builds a pyramid and then kicks it down, then rebuilds the pyramid, then has a ton of live action segments. Um, and keep in mind, this is all happening in Japanese with subtitles, so I'm even more confused. Yeah, I don't understand why Beck doesn't understand sub at all. For some reason, really halfway through hard. this film, they have, I swear, a five minute long credit scene. Yes, because it's two episodes together. With and a why didn't you just scene. put it at the end of the second episode? Because the movie, it goes like, <laughs> he, 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 he chokes Asuka out, and then it just says the end, and then all the lights go on. There's no credit at the end. Very yes, abrupt ending. That's how it works. What are you talking about? That's how it um, works. That's what makes it a masterpiece. But no, yeah. I'm just saying, Beck, Beck wants a, like, a very elaborate movie ending post credit sequence. I, That's his no, brother. I'm used to when a movie ends, it like the lights slowly fade in. You have credits with music. So this was just very different than normal. The lights did normal. slowly fade in. No, there was just no was, like, credits. Burst That's in it. when it said the no, end. You just weren't paying attention then. They literally slow, faded in. All right. Um, but the thing is, I will say this movie is incredibly hard to understand, but you still like feel a lot of emotion watching it, especially like when it's on the big screen. Uh huh. I felt a lot of emotion when the fucking red bitch died. Yeah, that's a little rude, Nicola. Uh, yeah. And then there was a cosplayer, and I was really worried Nicola was gonna go beat her up. Oh uh, yeah, there I, was somebody I had, that was cosplaying the red bitch, <laughs> and they were passing by, and I was like. If that person was not in public, I would have beat the shit out of them. That's really rude. That's a threat of violence, and Guys, I'm not really Nicola's going on his. Nicola's going on his domestic abuse arc right now. That has, that's they're not regular I'm not the, abuse. That's just domestic. battery and assault. That's just abuse. That's just and assault. And we'll see the conclusion to this arc in the future, in the past. Yeah, no, this will happen after Nicola. The, 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 the prediction is that this is in the past. Yeah, because Nicola is in jail really right. bad when Nicola is no. in prison. We're killing Beck. That's what I said. He kills Beck. That's one of the three Can options. another podcast I mean, you member? Say none of you guys have ever thought about beating the sh curb stomping a homeless man while passing by him on the street. You know, okay. I feel like you know this what, stuff um, is gonna be investigated. I feel like the FBI already has a file on Nicola. They're he's gonna, like, they're he's gonna, good they're with planes. He has very murderous intent. <laughs> the guys, they're, they're, they're gonna use this as evidence in court. Yeah, you know, they're gonna is. use this evidence in court. For like... Evidence. The, this is an when, unaired episode. This is just a... Because when Nicola... Because when Nicola... Because when Nicola's in trial, it's like, you assaulted that man. It'll show a previous intent. And you're Previously like, on the Celsius podcast. <laughs> Previously on the Celsius podcast. So, I think it's something we can talk about. So, you know, original idea we had for this podcast is that we talk about our own movie ideas that we were going to have. Do you have. have some movie ideas? And so I would like to, to do an open forum for sharing movie oh, bro, ideas. I have a lot of random scripts going. <laughs> Guys, okay. guys, I have, guys. I have a random like folder of like random script ideas that I write down. Okay, back. Okay. I want to, I want this, I want to pitch you my idea and I want to work on this one with is you. It, is it a musical? Like, yes. I swear to fucking God, What's it's going to be a musical. A time loop musical. A time loop musical. I'm liking what I'm hearing. I'm going to kill but you. But I, I, I think it, does, it doesn't have to be a full film, it could be like a short film. But yeah. I think still, like, it's a good idea to have a short film, uh, have a have a time loop musical. Okay, what is it? What pitch me the plot? Kill you. A fucking time loop musical. I haven't thought it. about it that. That's much. all I need to. <laughs> Kill yourself. So, okay. The thing okay. with the time I, loop is you have to deal with like, are you do, are you doing with a comedy side or more of a drama side? Com it's a musical, so it's probably a, co a comedy mm. dramedy thing. What I don't is know. there? Some dark musicals. Uh, okay, that's very lively. Alexander I'll, I'll Hamilton. Get back to you. Um. Yeah. yeah no. I want to talk about three yeah. other films I've watched. No, we talk about. Oh, we got to talk ideas. about my film ideas. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. I had an idea where it's like, it's like this group of friends, and they meet up after like living their lives, and then they go to their old elementary school. And it, they uh -huh. each collect like one of those strips that's like, what I what I what I want to be when I grow up, and then those create alternate versions of themselves that live that life. And it's all about their insecurities about like who they are. 
and what they could but have this done. is an a24 film if i've ever heard of one um yeah okay a a set- or like Hasbro hotel Okay, another idea I had. So you know that scene in Ricky Stanicky, where it's the I love fucking, I fucking love Ricky Stanicky. <laughs> it's a crazy story. That scene where it's like pitching the children's book idea. I'm like, yeah, I, 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 I like, I like this basic idea, but I changed yeah. it slightly. Where it's like a seed wow. animal hybrid, where it's like one of those like small, cute, like Miyazaki type, small, funny animals, and sure, they. Yes. Like, all put on, like, backpacks, kind of like Koroks. And then they go and they try to climb a mountain. But each time, ones, they, like, die. They die, they go into the ground, they sprout a tree. And the tree, it sprouts, and then different Koroks Koroks all drop from the tree. They form a little civilization. Then one person's like, I want to get to the top of that mountain. And it's a cycle just kept repeating. And then at the end, you pan out as this line of trees all the way up to the mountain. That's cool. But you're awesome. stealing it from Ricky Stanicki. It's and a I don't bit, if, you, if you watch the scene, he pitches a completely different idea. I just like the story of, like, seeds falling. I thought that would have been cool. Okay. Plus, they didn't, they didn't okay. own the copyright for it. They, they didn't copyright that yet. It's, it's still legal. Um, uh, wait, I have a movie wait, This actually gets public. People can steal my ideas, so I gotta copyright them before the episode comes yeah. out. Got to find them now. Yeah. Okay. What if, like, a girl who was really gifted at, like, languages and, like, kind of writing in her languages and stuff, she reads, like, the un- unsolvable Zodiac letters, and she figures out who the Zodiac is. Mm. I is it the one that, like, sits outside the FBI building? Or is that a different thing? Uh, I, th- I that's thought, a different I thing, thought but, they figured yeah. out who the Zodiac was. No. Was. No. no. You may be thinking of the Golden State Killer. Mm. Um... Um, um the, 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 I got more if you guys want them. All right, um, pizza have, delivery yeah. guy, and yeah. it's like the first day on his job, he delivers a pizza to this girl, yeah. and like the girl is like having a party, and then it just, and, she, no. and she has no money, and she thinks of another way to pay. Him no, back. and then it just cuts to all the different times he delivers pizza to that house as they both grow up. Uh-huh. Oh wow! And he stays the pizza guy. He stays the pizza guy. I mean, no, he like gets more skilled. He gets more thing, and like we see all the different times when she orders a pizza. She's going through like a hard time, and he's there with the pizza. This, th- this can, th- yeah, I like it. I like this one. Vec, I'll help you make this one. This yeah. one sounds fun. Okay, you know what's really crazy, guys? I have like a folder called um movie movie ideas, I have, and a Google um, Docs folder with all of them in it. And you know what's crazy? On June 23rd, 2023, at 10 25 p.m., I wrote a movie idea Willy Wonka and the Chocolate, rewritten as a murder movie. No! Hurry, put it into existence! No, this is topical! No! (laughs) It's topical! It's the Willy Wonka thing that no one's gonna remember. No, 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 no. back, back, back. It's because they're actually gonna make a movie out of it now. This isn't gonna come out on the same day that releases. No. Yeah. Oh, I want to okay. talk about another thing, but I can't because it's topical. No. Okay. Yeah. There's okay, so many okay. topical Guy- things. So sad. Guy kills himself after getting out of a time loop, and the investigation around his murder details whether he was actually in a time loop or was he just crazy. Murray has fallen into the time loop sauce. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. Um, Nicola, um I wanna, okay. Now Nicola needs to make a time loop film, and then everyone here. So, so yeah. Nicola, do you have any movie ideas? Am I supposed to have a movie idea? No, I'm just and throwing just... some around if we have them. I'm not the film guy here. I'm into engineering. Mm. I have an idea. Yeah, give me give us your engineering your idea. idea. Oh, it's not. It's not about engineering. It's just an idea. I don't. Okay. Don't let him say oh, okay. it. <laughs> Did you it's... know? No, um, it was no, more like in relation kind of to people. that big surprise that's coming before this episode. Okay. Um, um, okay. Um, um, a movie about, um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, a movie about, oh, a movie about the guy who made Heinz ketchup. 
a you biopic. Know the about story, him. You know the story around it? Actually, it I did have an idea for a movie, but I completely I feel forgot like it's what it was. I why feel like you, okay, I'm, Nicolo, why say that though? Why why say because that? I just rem- because no, because I remember I had a fire idea for a movie. Bro, like I was like, good ideas like, okay. come to me in a dream and then they're so good. That shit was so good, and now I just cannot remember what it was. I just remember that I had one. Okay. Wait, can we talk well, about dreams for a little I bit? I know, I have a good dream movie idea. So I was yeah, having yeah. this dream, and here's what, what I remember it? about it. So, it was this weird thing where there were these certain people where if they suck on, you know, like, how glasses have, like, those little side rims that, like, sit on your ears? If they suck on those, their spits then become infused with the emotions that they're currently feeling. And then people. What the fuck are you cooking? <laughs> Never so let weird. this man cook again. It's so weird. Never let this man cook again. And then like that. And then if people like like somehow like they turn the spit into like some kind of like drink or like drug, and then the the that emotion they feel, and then somehow turn into they were on an airship, and they were in, yep. and they were flying around inside of the airship. So yep. it was a crazy dream, but I thought it was like a good kind of idea. Where it's like harvesting uh, okay. of emotions. I'll say, I, okay, in my dreams, like once a week, I end up at Disneyland. I don't know how that happens, but it's like every fucking week, dude. It's because you're being a closeted Disney adult. It's true. He is over okay, 18, this time, so it does count. But it's always, it's always different, okay? Like, to, like last night I had a dream where I was at Disneyland, and there was a water park. Mm. Uh, that, Yeah. I don't know. It happens a lot. I just needed to bring that up. Um, Wait. Yeah, no. I dream a lot about the people around me. And I'm like, no. One time I had a dream about Beck. And he was right. like, it was like a gold Beck, though. Like, I was, was made of solid gold. gold. It was oh. all gold. It was all gold. And it said, we have to podcast. And I'm like, I don't think he said that. Beck, Beck, this is, this is, this is nuts. I'm Beck, solid you gold. Pod- You're solid gold. Why can't you can't podcast? Beck, I'm like Beck. This is nuts. We can't podcast under these conditions. And, so, and then I woke up and I was like, I have to pod now. But um, I did have that dream. But and then I woke up and it was like, I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Um, okay. And then and then I saw Beck post it on his story and I was like, was it my? I'm that's like, the only time I posted on my story is the Evangelion one. It was, it was, it was a few, a few days ago. Yeah. Um, well, I have a um, Google, or like an Apple Notes thing called Dream Notes, and I completely forget where one of these, these come from. They're just completely random. One says, Holler stabs sewn and stashes murder weapon in play slide. Technology wow. keeps freezing on ice control suits. Hanging out in the summer lake versus the city. Poem taken from la- random line from characters. Zombie apocalypse. Charging batter with shaking wire. Two kids fall in love. One character cries and starts a fight. Two cyberpunk actors do concert. Get ticketed by police. Then one person shows up saying that they shouldn't fight. One of the guys beats him up with boxing skills. Wow. So. I got some crazy got dreams. dreams. Do you guys have like a favorite dream you've had? Like one that just like sticks out in your memory forever? Um, um yeah. Do you guys know the the series Lego Ninjago? I'm familiar. I ha- I remember it was a weird nightmare. I was like uh-huh. laying in my bed and it was a nightmare that was running away and I remember it kind of being taking place in Lego Ninjago and they Fire. were in a bamboo forest. And it was a wide yeah. shot and there was a group of people standing there. I just yeah. felt like I was running away from something. Nice. Oh, what about you there, is, there have been some really cool dreams where I like actually have magic powers, and it's really fun to run away in those. Um, what about you, Ari? What's, you know, a, what's, you what's your favorite, favorite memorable dream? You remember like the yellow pitch from Clouding the Chance of Meatballs? I think the yeah, Jello, maybe. Yeah, I remember I was in the Jello Pit one time because I think I had recently maybe seen the movie. Mm. And that was really fun. And it was like a Jello castle, maybe. Or something. Mm. I don't know. Speaking of Jello, I need to talk about something real quick. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait who is watching? I, so, I say my favorite. No, I, I just okay. Yes, say yours, and then okay. I gotta go to my story. 
Because yeah. I want to like, I want to like animate this one because this yeah. one is so great. Like, I am thinking about like if Pampa happens that I like submit an animated version of this bullshittery that I dreamt one time. Like, I'm gonna do an years. actual animated film for Pampa this year. It's really yeah, I know. hard. Okay, so here's I, a, I, it opens. That's the Red Palo Alto Red Motion Red Picture Red Awards for those. Redwood yeah. Forest. Girl dressed as Red Riding Hood. We're just going to call her Red Riding Hood. She's running through the forest. There's portals in this forest. She keeps going through portals, ending up in different portals throughout this forest. She's just running and running from something that we don't know. And one portal makes her show up in front of this lodging, like this lodging building. It's a log cabin, and it's like lo- it says like lodging or whatever. And she goes inside. She goes inside, and there's a desk. And on the desk, there's a little name tag. It says, ring bell for assistance. Mm. She rings the bell. And a the, ghost and a, version of a hotel keeper shows up. No, something <laughs> way awesomer happens. Fucking Fox dude shows up. He says, I can play the guitar with no hands. And then starts absolutely shredding <laughs> using his hands. And there's a mouse and he's playing the drums and it's fire. I think that would work. That would work really good if you could animate it. And that was a, that was my baller ass dream. That was the whole thing. And I think about that one all the time. It's great. Mm. Okay, so speaking of Jello, so yep. I I have a comedy lit class, and we, we sure. were doing a, an assignment that was like you have to watch two different versions of the Jello stapler scene from The Office. Sure. And he said The Office had like twenty six different versions, and I'm like, I mm. I brought this up before. Oh, you did? Yeah, I, I have brought this up before. I said I like the Indian him. version has the, like the most episodes out of any of them. It is still yeah, running. And then I asked him, and I was like, so, like, it's like a dub, right? They dubbed the version. No. He's like, no, completely original, which yeah. is crazy to me. Like, you'd they're remake really the same show, like, 26 times. Well, they're the all thing yeah, is, that's crazy. I mean, the yeah. famous one is ba- is just a remake of the British one. Yeah, you know? yeah the but British one like, only went for like three British seasons. Version. No, it went for six, it went for 12 episodes back. Oh, I, I remember seeing that it was, like, three seasons. Did you shock your camera again? <laughs> yes. Nicholas, I mean, he's going to short, short circuit his so camera. My blanket is just super staticky and it's just rubbing up against me. And every time it like rubs up against me, it sends into my ears where my headphones are, shoots down through my headphones into my computer and turns off my camera for like a second. So I'm going to die, basically. Mm. So basically, basically you should fun. stop wearing that blanket. Is no. that the most remade show in the world? Probably. Nah. Kind of impressive, though. Yeah, no. I mean, it, it's crazy that it became such a phenomenon, you know? Can I, can yeah. I talk about The Office for a second? Because I did want to yeah. talk about I have three the films office. I actually want to talk about, though. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> but do you guys, like, get into phases on YouTube? Like, oh, you just yeah, like, definitely. okay, we're going to, like, for, like, this whole month, like, this one happens to me a couple times where I just watch Office clips on YouTube. Yeah, oh, no, it's, I'm normal. I did just watch Park and Rec clips era. You just watch yeah, a ton. Yeah. It's crazy. I watch a lot. Sometimes I get into a really John Mulaney com- comedy clip. Oh, I get a lot yeah. of shorts that are just like stand up comedy and I try to watch all of them. Yeah. Okay, that's that's my thing. But also but also I'm watching The Office, but I can't talk about that until next week. So uh, yeah. yeah. Great. All right. Guys, you want to hear something crazy? What? Sure. I have seen Two other men with this exact same sweather. That's like today or just like in your life? Today. Dude, wow. you should stop wearing that sweater. Dude, I think they're I, would, I was editing 70 and then I kept looking at myself and I'm like, bro, my outfit it goes so hard. I literally I was, I was just realizing, like, literally, the blue jacket with the blue jeans would always go so hard. I don't I why would I ever change it, you know? I mean the thing is, Beg, I guess it didn't go hard since you weren't going you lost. For best dressed. I, I can't I I can't bring this up. It's topical. No. Oh my god. I I really want to, but I can't. This is such a bro moment. Just bring it up after the pod. It's okay. Okay. Um. But yeah. Way back. You have some films you want to talk about? Yes. Three films. Our Woo! first one, Fight Club. Um, oh, I saw this movie Fight was Club. very highly oh. rated. My dad said I should watch it, so we watched it. And I really back, liked back, it. Back, 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 back. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go any further. Yeah. 
I don't think you're allowed to talk about this movie. Why not? What movie? What's the first rule of Fight Club? I get it. I get it. Hmm. Oh my god. Also, I kind of want to talk about it. Wow. Because okay, so this well, is I don't think David it's apparently Spade. not talking about it because the episode's never going to release. Uh, so this, there. Is, this is David Fincher at one of his like earlier moments, but it's like a really good, like, um, like kind of one of his early ones. It's very, it's like one of the most iconic movies of all time, arguably. Yeah. And um, um, so I haven't actually seen the movie, but I've heard I, a lot about I don't it. Have seen there's it, but there's a, a really time. big twist. And, like, I got it, like, slightly spoiled for me. So I was able to, like, guess it halfway through the movie just because I knew a lot about the film beforehand. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, I thought it was a really good movie. I didn't particularly like the twist. Um, It kind of felt like we need to do something to surprise the audience. So we just did this. Do we feel Um, comfortable? I wonder if that's not um, because you've seen this kind of twist before. I have. um, in a certain might... in a certain series, I can't say which series because um, it would spoil it. But a certain series that I do not like. Ah, uh, is and, it Korra? Um, it's not um, even Korra, bro. It's one. It would spoil it for Uri. Oh. Okay. What, um, then, um, what is it then? Um, Can I spoil it for you? Um. Sure. It has the okay. same twist as you. Yeah, you can spoil it. Yeah, it has the same twist as you. Oh, you. I, yeah, I saw you. Yeah, it has the same yeah. twist as that, season four. Oh, yeah, oh. And I fucking hated yeah, the it, twist it, in that, and I didn't like the twist in this. It, it was also it was also in the movie Joker, you know? Michael, uh, you're, you're fucking uh, lying. Where are they? Oh, yeah, it was kind of in Joker. It is a really reused it's twist. Literally in... But I this said. was like kind of like more of the original. The this original. This was the one that started the trend. I would I say so. I sent it. What are you talking about? Did you? Um, oh, there it is. Thank all you. All right. Next film I watched Blade Runner 2049. Bro, okay. that's where you new kick. Yes. Same guy that made goes, Dune. I drive. No, do, back, do, back do, question. Yeah. Have you read Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? No, have I seen haven't the... seen all of Blade Runner 1. So okay, that's also, I also asked you a second question. Did I, did I read An- Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Yeah, have you read that book? I have not. Okay, that's, that's the book Blade Runner is based off. Yeah. It's the book that the movie was based on. Yes. I didn't read it. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. This is a very it's common pretty... occurrence. Why are you guys acting like it's so weird? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just saying that was a that one's quite a quite a good book. And the movie is it is this, just, it's the same the plot, movie. right? I, it's, it's it's similar. Yeah, well, I really like the movie. Cinematography is still amazing. I liked it more on a secondary watch. Um, is this the original? Uh, no, the 49. 49. With Ryan Gosling. So, the, yeah, Ryan Gosling yeah. one. Which is I you. do think Ryan Gosling has a, ver- has a really compelling character in it where he's like a very depressed android because, you know, he's literally me. Um, but, um, um, yeah, it's, it's a long movie, right? Yeah, like two and a half. Mm. Um, I know, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I think I, I think I've already talked about it on the podcast. I think you have because I think I watched it like it was, about a year ago. It was before yeah. Ryan Gosling was literally me, though. So yeah, I um, think it was literally me since the movie Drive. Okay, yeah, but um, I, literally me since the movie Barbie. Yeah. Okay, it was literally me. The next one's gonna be one you guys probably haven't heard of. Um, only yeah. yesterday. I did see that on your letterbox. What is only yes. yesterday? So only is it yesterday. Is the yesterday? No. <laughs> the one where the Beatles don't exist? <laughs> It'd be really funny if they did that. <laughs> and like, they, yeah, they, no. They, this time writing the all door. Harry Potter. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, um, so, so Hagrid, Hagrid is, um, okay. So they tease at the Hagrid end of the movie. Gay. Hagrid's gay. <laughs> um, okay. okay, this one. Harry Potter is is a lesbian with um Hermione with, um, is, uh, Hermione's in a wheelchair and also Ron is black and they're all gay and they eat shit because they're wizards. Yeah, uh, and, uh, Ron just likes to eat shit because he's a t- toilet boy. 
Okay. No, no, no. I was saying that because she, because Jake, Jake Rowling's actually said that one. Wow. Very cool. Mm. Wow. What okay. A um. Can I get into only <laughs> yesterday? Only yesterday. Yes to- <laughs> so, <laughs> only yesterday. Only yesterday is a Studio Ghibli film. I uh, I saw it that it was highly rated, and I wanted kind of like a chill, relaxing movie. So yep. basically, what happened is it was a Friday at school. And I was yeah. feeling really dead, feeling pretty tired. Yeah. And we had a sub in art, and I had already basically finished my entire me. art project. Yeah. Oh, oh so the one that I saw? No, it's a different one. Oh, um, a different one, okay. So I'm just like, okay, I don't want to do this art, but I can't really pull out a laptop and do gaming, because that's too obvious, even for a sub. Yeah. So I pull out yeah. my phone, I'm like, I should watch a movie. Um, yeah. So I pick only yesterday. Yeah. And I swear this was like the worst movie to be like watching in public because it's a really like emotional, like deep, sad movie. And I'm watching it kind of like this in the middle of like a digital art classroom. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, Beck, why the fuck are you crying over some animated <laughs> bullshit? I was, I was like, kind of like, like, it's a Ghibli film. My tears are kind of like watering up. Luckily, the class is only freshmen, so I don't care what the, what the fuck freshmen think about me. So, <laughs> I started, like, watching this film, and what the film is, is it's this woman, and she's doing a trip, um, like a 13-day-long trip to do um, farming in the country of Japan, and it kind of just keeps coming back between when she was in fifth grade and her doing the farming now, and it's just like... It kind of like feels very like um, normal, but it also like has a lot of. It's usually talking about like the most important events that happened to her in like this one year she was in fifth grade, mm-hmm. and it's really good. It's animated very well. It's animated very minimalistic in like a sort of way where it's not like trying to like look very good. It's trying to like be sort of like kind of abstract with like a lot of the lines fading out. Uh, they're sitting in white voids a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, Who's the director? The, the director has also done a ton of other good Ghibli stuff. Um, let me pull it up. Um, but yeah, the film's really good. It's uh, If you want like a cool, like calm, slightly emotional watch, I'd very much recommend it. Um, where is Only Yesterday? And who did direct it? It is Is Iso Takahata. Uh Iso Takahata. I don't what he has also made Grave of Fireflies and The Tale of Princess Kaguya, if you guys know either of those. I don't think you would, because you guys have not watched a lot of Ghibli films. I've seen zero of them. Yeah. I've seen the first 50 minutes of Spirited Away. Really? Yeah, you so didn't even walk it. all the way through? Uh, no, because it was during, uh, like, Pacific Islander week or whatever at school. Oh, oh and, yeah. And I watched like, the first it. half of Creed during that. Mm-hmm. That Creed? Was during... No, it was, it, was, it was not for that same event. It was for, like, a different one where they were, like, showing movies during um, lunch. Yeah. Um, um, Beck, um, I just um, I came up with another movie idea. Yeah. Okay, so it's like, okay, so there's a pizza delivery driver, and he goes to, like, this girl's house. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we, we see the how, how their lives go through, like, you know, we go through, like, times, like, like you know, we see, we see how, you know, she's, like, you know, she's progressed through life, and then, then she gets addicted to drugs, and it's like, there's no more, I can't deliver pizzas because she's dead of an overdose. Mm. Oh, man. Um, I feel like that would be a very downer end ending for what assumed from like the first start of your pitch seemed like a very wholesome movie that was like trying to be like a feel good romance. Uh, okay, okay, the okay. Romance okay. overdose doesn't really back, fit the tone. You, back, back, back. Are you familiar with Bridge of Terabithia? The fuck would I be? No, no, with the bridge. Are you familiar with Bridge of Terabithia? I'm not familiar with Bridge of Terabithia. All right, so let me tell you about this. There's this book called Bridge of Terabithia. It's about this boy and a girl. They're both young, and they just like to hang out by this bridge and have fun and imagine. And at the end of the book, the girl hits her head and drowns in the river, and that's the end of the book. That's just a good book. It's a book. 
It's a well. It's, yeah. There's also a movie. Most books are like that. Mm. It's good. But yeah. uh, it's very, very fucking funny that I read that in fifth grade. Yeah. Oh. It was Teacher. a lot. Of, yo, what if we? Book. Yo, what if for pamphlet we all get together and we recreate part four of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure live action? I haven't Can seen I be, it. Cannot here, watch I'll, it before pamphlet. I'll be, okay, I'll be Josuke. Uri, you can be Jotaro. That way, you can also get arrested for doing weed, just like his live action. Oh, no, he 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 can already do that. <laughs> I'm um, not I, a I marijuana should, user I should or a watch. drug user. There is or an alcohol video user. evidence. He, we I need to watch the logs. We have the chat logs. I, I need I to really watch need to the live action. all of Jojo. Me too, but I need to watch the live action part four. Okay, the thing is, I I want to start rewatching stuff because of stuff mm-hmm. I've wanted to rewatch. But then I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm already watching Korra, so that's a lot. I'm yeah, you're to time, you're timing films. yourselves. I'm trying to watch Hilda. I'm trying to watch all this stuff. I got Invincible Weekly. I want to start watching more movies. I'm like, I can't fit another rewatch in here. Wow. Yeah. But, um, Nicola, you have anything not timely? You want to say? No. Victor. What about? Hmm. Mm. No. Because I can't say F1 because that's definitely timely. Oh, F1 is definitely over by yeah, the time I'm this episode definitely. comes out. It, yeah, exactly. the, whole, the whole sport has collapsed after too many scandals, you know? Yeah. yeah Speaking of collapsing, do you guys, what are, what are you guys' favorite post apocalypses? Um, The Last of Us. That's a uh, good one. Aiden? Uh, this is a really shitty transition. <laughs> Best post apocalypses? Yeah. Um, um Station know. Eleven was a good Station Eleven. Uh, probably Adventure Time. Bro. Adventure Time is my that's favorite. Post-apocalypse. Adventure Time goes yeah. more for like the disease route instead of like thing. the nuclear yeah. war kind of. Everything. Adventure Time, I think, is the best post apocalyptic show. Wow. Or alternatively, Zombies, the Disney one. Is oh yeah, Zombies. <laughs> Technically, yeah, no. there's do, the, do you not know the lore? You have you not watched lore, Zombies bro. 2? It came out like so long ago. You haven't watched oh, Zombies 2 where they explain all the okay, lore? I've seen Zombies 1. Energy? Have you not seen Zombies 3 two. where there's aliens? That, I exactly. watched trailers for that. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing, bro? Oh, you know what's a good, like, bro, you you know know it's a good animated just... show based on it also? They did, yeah. You know it's a good oh, just apocalypse thing? The yeah. apocalypse episode of Phineas and Ferb, where they're all turning into doofenshmirtz. True. Oh, that's, a, that's a zombie one, right? Night of the yeah, Nick, Living Pharmacist. Nick, Nick, Nick Frost and Simon Pegg are both in that episode, mm. making it part of the Cornado trilogy. Okay, but let's, <laughs> let me tell you about yeah. my favorite post apocalypse because it's Fallout. Sure. Now, yeah. Fallout is very interesting because here's what it is. What? What? Say, say it, say it. It's a little timely. It's a little timely. It's, no, a little it's timely. not timely. It's not timely. Okay, this, okay. this is a general, general fallout, what I like about it. So okay, what okay. fallout yeah. is, is what people in the 90s, uh, I'm still this from a video I watched, what people in the 90s thought people in the 50s thought what 2060 would look like, and then that getting nuked. So it's like this really weird techno-futurism, but getting nuked. And there's a there's great politics. It has a very human element where like no one is particularly in the right, and like this um, whole culture that emerged from it. I think it's yeah. it's very interesting. I can always think about like it would be oh it would be so cool to see like this happening or like this happening. Yeah, no, I, that sounds really cool. Like you know, because I always like the idea of like there's, like different types of futures of what we think, and then it's like we we kind of like separate from that. Um, future because like I get I that because like you know we'll move forward past like what would they think you know in the fifties and it probably has a lot of like fifties elements probably to it I would yeah, say right? yeah it has like those like you know if you ever like seen one of those like nuclear families from the fifties they have like that car and like robots working for you they have all that with it it's really cool. yeah but like it's kind of like. If um Back to the Future probably got nuked or something like that kind of future, yeah, it, it they, is. Yeah, it is really cool to like look back at like old pieces of media and see what they actually got right in predicting the future. Like I know, like Fahrenheit four fifty one, they have something that's basically just AirPods, which is pretty funny. 
Um, yeah. so did Back to the Future uh, 2 get anything right? Um, it got uh, the Cubs winning off by a year. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, they got, I guess, three. They got that the 9 11 would happen. What? Did they? They did predict it. No, they didn't. They, 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 they said they, they, they go back. To, they go back to the future, and then they're like, they hit the South Tower. I don't think. Yeah, so. right. I have. have you ever I, seen I, these I, movies, look, Nicola? I have. And then in Back to the Future three. <laughs> name another, they name, go name back, two back characters, Nicola. Nicola. Uh, Doctor Doctor Scott and Princeton Yale. Guys, I think you've seen the Nicola, movie. <laughs> Nicola, Nicola, I hate to break it to you, but they don't go to the future in the third movie. No, they go back to the future. They don't go back to the future! No, you don't they understand. Go. They go back to the back to the future. And that's you know, when they say... Yeah. And that's back, when they say... Nicola, or can't and that's when anymore. they say... They hit the Pentagon. Nicola, Nicola, do you know why it's called Back to the Future? Because they went back to the back to the... No, because the they went past, the past and they need to go back to the future. And he tries to get back to the future. That's you gotta why go they back in time. Space, that's why they almost called it Spaceman on Mars. For very obvious reasons. No, but you oh, don't no, understand. They it's seen not they, back he's, to the he future. Like the it's alien. back to the back to the back to the future. Okay, no, but obviously, Nicola, you are you guys not familiar with the famous scene where Marty's all like, "Doc, Doc, on September 11th, Marty, there will Marty. be, there will be, there will be a, there will be an attack on the planes." He I, says, I'm from the future. I, I'm from the future. On September 11th, two planes will hit the World Trade Center, killing 2,967 okay, people. Break this to you? Guys, I hate to break this to you, but this is already a video that exists on the internet by Solid JJ. I will send it in general right now. Uh-huh. I mean, it I is know. like people people keep saying that, but re- realistically, they would kind of just throw you in prison, and then they wouldn't do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, but here I'm looking at a list at what Back to the Future got right. It says paving the path for drone technology. They have drones delivering mail and walking dogs in the movie. Which was no, something they very, didn't get that right. No, they did. This is, no, I mean, no, we can't, that was we have years ago, mail. and we're, we're now starting on it. You know, yeah. So I they guess. didn't get it right, but we know have Amazon drones, don't we? Yeah, twenty years um, from now. Not, yeah, but that's not walking the dog. Fine. Um, they got, they got multi-channel TV, right? Where it's like emergency. Because, no, they got like, a TikTok, right? Because he has like. One screen, then he has a second screen going and a third screen. It's like when you put Subway Surfers over Family Guy clips. It's yeah, the same definitely. thing. Um, emergence of biometric identification. There's like a finger by touching your finger. You know, we have that. Mm, we do um, on our iPhones. Um, adoption of video communication. You know, like FaceTime. I mean, Zoom. Zoom. Wait, got on. that right. Uh, wait, back, back. Wait, Th- iPhones don't do that anymore. Yeah, but they did when the movie came out. All right. All right. Um, like, when rise. the movie said that it was released, 2014. 2015. October 2015. 11, 2015. 2015, they still had the thumb scanner. Heck, you don't know the exact date that the movie fucking happens on? You Tell me. You're looking at your phone. Don't look at your phone. Look I, at the know, I already said it. I already said October 11, 2015. Okay. I will now sporadically ask you... What date it came out, and if you can't answer correctly, you're gonna be bad. You're gonna be kicked back to hell. Oh, sorry, it was November. Wait, no, that's when it was <laughs> released. We got it wrong. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. this is when it was released. I stay winning, baby. No, that was when it released. I'm trying oh, to figure out. Like, oh, he got it wrong. October. This okay, loser. It's October, it's October 21st. I was off by 10 days. Bro, everyone, everyone point and laugh at him. He got the date wrong. Uh, <laughs> I was off by ten days. Uh, 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 mm. But no, um, yeah, no. Fallout's cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you guys um, think? Yeah, you, you know it's a good, po- good pop. If you want to like play Fallout, movie? play New Vegas or the first two. Mo- probably just or play four. New Vegas. Don't play four. Play There's um four. John is setting so much. Four is awesome. Um, That's the one I played. No, no, four is what happened. Four is like, what if people in the fifties got nuked? Not people. What? What? Not what people thought the future would look like in the fifties. Got nuked. They're just like, no, but four is the fire. Of the fifties. And what? What is better about? What is better about four that that the other games don't do? 
Oh, uh, that's the one that I've played. Hmm. I will buy you a copy of New Vegas. <laughs> All right. Um. Um. There's um. I I still want to talk about like some zombie movies. There's, I really like Shaun of the Dead. You know, that's a good one. Oh for yeah, Netflix. I wanted to see that. It has the same guy as Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, and um, get your panties in a twist, yo. I think a really good like post apocalypse is um, um, I am Legend, but not the movie, the book, where it's like this had movie has had like kind of like three remakes. I think maybe it was Night of the Living Dead was like the first one, and that kind of like started like the uh, the kind of like the zombie kind of trend. It's like I think it's known as like one of the first zombie movies or something, like at least the starter of the trend. Sure. And um, what I really like about um, I am Legend, the book, where some, um, so it's like, these zombies are essentially, like, in the book, they're like more vampires and stuff, okay. and um, they're all like, you know, they've taken over society, kind of, and like, they become kind of like the new humans, and then there's this one guy, and he's like, he's just, he's just fighting for his cause of the human, and he has like, Is know, this the just dog. Planet of the Apes? No. Um, is it, no. oh, is this Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? Sorry, I got I got I got it mixed, mixed up. No, and um, so it's really interesting. So he's like he's kind of like he's fighting and for to I guess try to kill as many as he can. But then the book does something really interesting where he's captured because he's killed some of them, and there's this thing where he allows himself to die because he sees um, a f- he sees like a few vampires out of his like cell, and they look at him with the same hatred that he had for them because you know they become like kind of conscious beings, these new vampires. And he realizes that if his time is over and the humans times are over and he lets kind of this new, this new era. Cause I guess it really wasn't ever really about the humans. It's you know? evolution. Yeah. Wow. And so if anyone has any, like, um, like some thought, scary thoughts about climate change, remember it was never about us. Hmm. What do you guys think of the zombie? Oh, land? Sure. I, I think I, I, think well, I had to watch a clip for that for like film comp. I think Zombie Lane's a very funny movie. Mm. I like him, but which one? I for the first one. Doesn't it have the guy it. from um? As Jesse you Eisenberg. Me? Yeah. Jesse Eisenberg and Will and Will yeah. and what? What's his name? Woody Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Both of them yeah. are in now. You see me, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. See, it's an amazing but, cast, and now you see me. That's it, that's that's a very funny movie. I would say watch that one. Uh, except the zombies are can run in that one, so that's kind of scary. That it, that is that kind of breaks every single. Oh well, yeah, and like, Emma Stone is also in Zombie Land. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, Emma Stone. She's like one of the four. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you guys think yeah. you could survive? Like, let's assume that you want to survive a zombie apocalypse, because the yeah. easiest way to survive a zombie apocalypse is to just kill yourself. Kill um, yourself. I once said that as an option him. in class, and it did not land. I mean, but they're realistically, all like, awkward. Back, they're if like, you back, think about yeah, it, honestly, realistically, right now, you back. will probably never live in a zombie apocalypse. You will probably never make it to the time where the world has fully recovered to where it was. Like, the life you lived before the apocalypse is just, you're never getting that back. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like life during the apocalypse is going to be so hard that you're literally better off killing yourself. Yeah, well, no yeah, way. That's, what, I, that's uh, what I'm saying. I'm saying, assuming you don't want to kill yourself, could you survive a zombie apocalypse? Assuming these are slow walking, kind of. If dumb these are zombies. slow walking zombies, then literally, that you just have to wait for them to rot, which yeah, will be that, that's, 14, that is 14 kind of days. Strat. You wait 14 days, and then okay. all the zombies are dead. But assuming basically. it's like Last of Us type of like fungus, zombies, like fungus that, zombies, fungus, something like that. If it's um, those type of zombies, then you kind of got to do what they do in The Last of Us. Yeah, Wall yeah. Cities. I've never seen The Last of Us. I would do, I would do, I really like the way they think they did in Station Eleven, where um they went, they stayed in like an airport museum, an yeah. airport, and they, and they that, made a society. Station Eleven, that one is like, it. Uh, it's a disease that kills like 99% of the people that have it. Um, And then yeah. they just create, so like all people survive, like... Everyone who has it is just gonna die. So like the disease kills everyone and then dies out really quickly, but then people rebuild. Yeah, yeah, but it's like more like everyone's kind of like um walk lonely people kind of just walking rows. There's no like governments or anymore. Yeah, there's just like people kind of r- walk r- wandering around. We follow and, a um, band of Shakespeare theater people. Yeah, and um. 
but yeah so i maybe try to find a group of people and build a new society with them that's what i would do yeah i would uh, probably play i would probably put a bunch of plants in my yard uh yeah. and have them fight the zombies i think oh that that brilliant <laughs> bro is hungry dale i think i maybe I make them i make a society also, like a wait college. hold on did you say it's crazy on, dan i know it's did crazy. you say hungry dale fucking crazy dave <laughs> yeah it's his cousin Okay. Yeah, actually, what, you, a, they played Plants vs. Zombies Ex Garden Exodus, Warfare. where, Garden Warfare. where you're, uh, no, it's not Garden Warfare, it's Exodus, where like it's instead of Crazy Dave, it's it's Hungry Dale. <laughs> okay, wow. uh, there's there's a cool thought He doesn't experiment. want a taco in that one. He wants, okay. he wants a burrito. Yeah, so, if you could be the richest person in the world, how far back yeah. would you go? Like, how far back would you need to go to like, like you would be the richest person in two thousand and one, or no. or like, yeah. Like if it currently, how if how much money you have around on you, how would you be? How long would it take to be? No, the no, no. It's it's I, like how far back no. do you have to go where it's worth it? Like to become the richest person, you know? Okay, um, okay. Like like if like if, like if someone offered me to go back to the Roman Empire and I would be the richest person in the world. In the Roman Empire, like I'd, then I'd you'd be assassinated pieces. very quickly. Yeah, no, that's terrible. With the guy in the Roman Empire, yeah, but be like assassinated very quickly. How would that become dysentery. rich exactly? What you just get them, you just get the money. Yeah, you 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 you'd you'd become the richest person by like swapping places right, with the person this, that has the most that, money. No, but here's the thing: like, would you go back to the to the 1960s, like giving up all the technology, but like having all that like power and influence? I mean, maybe, but I kind of want to use that money to buy the technology. That's kind of the yeah. point. Okay, but yeah. 1960s is worth it because you have actual good fucking medical technology and you're not going to die. Going back to like the fucking Roman Empire is not a good idea because you're just no, going to fucking anything, die of dysentery. Anything past the 60s is a terrible idea. Really? Yeah. I okay, think anything well, before the 19th century. I okay, no, be because cool to do like the 60s. I wouldn't want to do it before the 40s because living in war would kind of no, be okay. Cringe. But if you were rich during uh, the yeah. Great Depression, well, then it didn't affect. I would you. do. I would do Babylon style 1920s guys living. <laughs> yeah, up. That, that would not be fun. <laughs> no, uh -huh. I probably most likely. I feel like peak like, time, peak time 80s. Great time. 80s yeah. were a vibe. Yeah. yeah. I feel if like I'd be there. willing to do like the 50s or like the 60s because like. I could see I you being a nuclear money. man. Family I could man. do like whatever I want. Like I just make whatever films I want to make because like film. Nah, technology I'd want to be one of the then. robber barons of the eight. I'd be like giving up so much the... technology. It'd be kind of. I want to be. I want to be the revolver Rockefeller. Nice. Wow. Um, yeah. Beck, you could be one of. The, you could be like if you go out your fifties, you can be like the pioneer that people study in yeah. the twenties. The film, you know. You could study the people will study you, the great Beck Lions. You know, this is I mean, this people, movie is very fifty years in the future. We'll be hearing about the great Beck Lions. Is this no, like, they'll, yeah, and they'll yeah, they'll be like, this is very lion esque. This movie right here, you know, they'll say that about like people. Yeah, still. you have a very lion esque style of composition, and I love it. It um, is kind of like weird like how like people always refer to you as your, like, your last name that will always be like what cements you like it would be called like the lion's method not the beck method yeah. and i kind of like would prefer it to kind of go down more as like beck you know what a stupid thing like hi guys this movie i inspired by my great director beck <laughs> okay but back okay, who like, would live who would bet back who would live who would die and who would tell your story are you gonna do a, a doing Hamilton? This oh. is a transition, guys. Yeah. So I watched want... Hamilton. I literally oh. mentioned Hamilton earlier. Hamilton. That's why, I never did, transitioned. that's why I said shut up. And I said I'll get back well, to that. Hamilton, the experience I have with it was I listened to like the first six songs on Spotify because that's all I know the context for. Because I stopped watching okay. the movie after that point. Yeah, okay. And so... the first six songs, very good. I don't know about the I'll rest say of the, the, music, movie. the music was very good. Uh, the story here's the story. So we all know who Alexander Hamilton, is, right? Yeah. Like you're you're familiar with what he did, Beck? Yeah, he um he fought in the Revolutionary War. He was never Man. president. Is he on one of the bills? I don't remember. 
No. Not no. on any of the bills. That's a rip. No. Uh, what else do you know about him, Beck? Um, did he get shot? He did get shot, yeah. That's did true. he get assassinated? No. No, that different guy. Um... So basically, uh, here's what I think happened. I think that Lin Manuel Miranda looked at the founding fathers and said, "Who the fuck is Alexander Hamilton?" And then wrote a play about this guy. Because there's a lot. Hearing, of- like, didn't he like he like read a book while on vacation and was like, "This is really Probably. good." That's what Probably. I remember. It's like he read a book about Alexander Hamilton. Was like, "This would make a really good musical." So but who I- shall play the most handsome baron in all of the land? <laughs> so. So, because because there's a lot about it, like a theme a theme running through this story uh, through the play is like who's gonna tell this story like about this kind of this guy this important guy and the people around. Him. So yeah. I think it's, he was like kind of a forgotten founding father. Like there's like Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, like all these really important kind of people, and then H- Hamilton's over there also. But he's important too. But like he's over there. Yeah. Mm. What's his story? So, uh, Alexander Hamilton. His name is Alexander Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, so and there's a million things he hasn't done, but just you wait. Yeah. Are you gonna are you, you gonna keep be where it happens to songs? Maybe is this gonna become an annoying bit? <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Uh, no, so- he's gonna make a reference to a certain painter. Was he? He was not alive during that time. No, no shit. way later. So, so there's this guy Alexander Hamilton, right? He's um, he's an orphan son of a whore. Uh, he's and he dropped in the Caribbean, and he and Dude, this he is gonna take so long. And Aaron Burr, Aaron Burr is the guy that kills him, but he's his friend at the beginning. Uh, so he he gets these guys, and then he does the revolution. And then he becomes George Washington's second second hand man. Uh, and then they win the revolution. And then he cheats on his wife. And then he gets outed for cheating on his wife. And then he gets shot. So that's pretty much what happens. Does he die from the shot? Yes, he dies. He he at in the first song, Aaron Burr says that he's the one that shoots Alexander Hamilton, and then he get he then he gets shot at the end. And he dies from that gunshot. And, and this is dies. a duel, right? It's a duel, yeah. Some kind of duel of destiny. True. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's that's cool. But and the play is like good and all that. It's good. But it's not a play. It's a musical. Uh, musical. There's there's a literally difference. no spoken dialogue. The entire thing is song. No. Wow. It's, it's kind of interesting that you, you take them. Um, no, I swear about. there's dialogue. It's in music. It's all song. Shit, I didn't know that. Maybe there's like a minute of actual yeah, like, like dialogue. I remember like one or two lines. It's like leading into a song, is, and they're talking. It's pretty much entirely in in song, which kind of makes it hard to watch when the entire thing is in song and dancing. It kind of makes it hard to watch, but the music's very good. The choreography is very good as well. But there's a lot that's like, was this really necessary for us to do? Like, there's like four songs about him cheating on his wife. I cheated on my wife. She looks so pretty. I think no, I got shot it, by Aaron Burr. Oh man, they did. I do. Lin Manuel Miranda is very good at writing songs. Though. I'll say that. Okay, there's one a lot thing of I wanted to see. There's a lot of repeat lyrics. There's like like uh, no one else was in the room where it happened. Uh, uh, this is my shot. Um, there's just Aaron Burr, sir. That's one that's reused a lot. That one's really fire. Okay, one Aaron thing I Burr. don't get is like yeah. I think this was the, the case in Hamilton is like Lin Manuel Miranda also directed the play, right? Yes. How do people act and direct like something at the same time because that's crazy to me. It's like they're like this actor well, he finally directed, but he's also in the scene. So how is he the director? Very the impressively. The thing is, you're forgetting that you know directors aren't usually the ones that, like, hold the fucking okay, camera. Yeah, no, they have... that, but usually they have to, like, sit there and, like, make sure the footage is going good, right? Yeah, so they they do the take, he walks off and says, that was a good a little, take, everybody. Like, inconvenient, where it's like, you have to, like, you can't just, like, have someone just watch it while they're doing the scene. You save half the time. Back, 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 back. Listen, though. 
This is a play. It doesn't matter where the fucking camera is. Okay, yeah, the like in general, also, like, for TV, like, that yeah, also I happens mean, a lot. Bill Hader directed all of the last season of Barry. That also makes no sense. He's, like, in so much of it. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess when, you, when you're, when you like, because he was such a creative force behind the show, you feel like you can only be, like, since you're already the main character, you feel like you, or you kind of have so much creative vision where you see that you can kind of do both because it feels very natural, I guess. Yeah, yeah you're already there. I mean, you have to be good at acting first, though. I mean, you're that's in the, what you're you in the room where it happens, so. Heck, yeah. that's what you did for Al Uberkson. That's what Aiden did. That's what I did, you know? Okay. Yeah, did it. yeah, but that was due to, like, what I would like to call budget constraints. But we still did it. And yeah, I don't think it. it was that much of a But I think if you're dealing with a multi-million dollar budget show, like Barry, you can, like, have hire, like, one person to say if the shot was good. Maybe. They probably do back. Directing yeah. isn't just like shooting the thing, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of di- you know. I get that. Yeah, you have to sit in the chair and shout through. Be the in the room where it happened. That's crazy, yeah. Aiden. But um, uh, I. But uh, my overall thoughts. I probably should have should have liked Hamilton, like the character more. I didn't really care for him. Hmm. Who was your favorite then? The king. Like, the <laughs> wife he keeps yeah. cheating on. The king. Yeah, he was awesome. Oh yeah, the king's the fire. King, the king has three songs, and they're all fire. They're great, guys, and they're Have all basically know. the same song. And they're great. Uh, yeah. But I like I liked Thomas Jefferson a lot. George Washington was also cool. Okay, um, but guys, can I tell you a story? Sure. So this was a play about the Revolutionary War. You're yeah. in a famous guy who played a role in a musical about the Revolutionary War. Yeah. So in fifth grade, it's tradition yeah. at my elementary school to put on a Revolutionary War play. Now, Did you Hamilton? We didn't. No, it was like an original Revolutionary War play. And he uh, wasn't. Hamilton didn't feature. It's, it was before Hamilton came out. Okay, but, but Hamilton still, but was you a real didn't guy. play Hamilton. No, he was a real person. He was a real. I I don't remember who played him, but I played the shining role of Rochambeau. Do you guys know who that is? Yeah, he was in Hamilton. That sounds like a fucking stand. Okay, he was, Rochambeau. Uh, okay, Nicola, he, that is a stand. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Now, he is like the most important character in the entire play. I had uh, four very really important play. lines, and I only remember he's... one of them, where I gotta say, Sock le bleu, which means fuck. No, no, it doesn't. You yeah, also does. say it sock. You also say it wrong. Sock blue. Sock blue. blue. Exactly. Don't tell me. Like, uh, he was he was in Hamilton. He was ha- one of Hamilton's friends, and also Lafayette and the other guy that died. But I don't remember his yeah, name. No, I I carried the entire play on my back. I I I want you guys to know that. Wow. Um, I also had one of those when I was in fifth grade. Oh, and what I was play Paul did you do? Revere. I was oh. Paul Revere. Did you? Did you? Um. Tell, you look like a Paul Revere. Did you like let everyone know the British are coming? So it's kind of interesting to see that how uh, a founding father who was not known now has become one of the probably most known founding fathers because yeah, of Hamilton. Kind of incredible. Yeah, I think the Revolutionary yeah. War is like a really like fire event because like we were like on the good <laughs> side for like the first time. <laughs> for like the first and only time. <laughs> for like the, the first time. wars where we're not on the right side. Back well, it was I mean, literally the invention of no way not on You cut out you cut out every your time. It was it was the invention of America back. Yeah. There was no yeah. way that we could be on the wrong side there. Well, what what there's also the Civil War, which were on the wrong and right side. So. Yeah. That's true. Um so in, in Beck's we're, opinion we're, in Beck's opinion for we two. the in Beck's opinion, the wrong side lost. What? Wait, no, the <laughs> wait, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I'm saying that. The wrong <laughs> side, the wrong oh. side of the Civil War lost. Yup, so true. <laughs> the wrong side lost. There's a lot of commas you need to put in there to make it sound <laughs> what you wanted to. He right. thought the right, the wrong shot size should have won. Yep. What? Uh, 
But um, so, no, no, it's gonna, it's, it's really confusing. Because <laughs> if there was a civil war in this podcast, who would the sides do you think? Me and Aiden in? versus Uri and Nick. Uh, hundred percent. I think it would be an Uri and Beck versus Nicola and Aiden. Uh, we're talking like, well, the wait, people so, that like Barry and Succession versus the people talking, that don't. Are we talking about like a like a slavery civil war or what? like a Iron what? Man? <laughs> you gotta pay for Iron what you Man, destroyed. Iron Man, clarify Iron Man. So I think it's Iron Man. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like a, it's not like that. I think or it's is it slavery. A civil war like <laughs> no, I think it's more of like a civil war. Like one side's been taxing the other side too much. Slavery. <laughs> I think it's more yeah. an issue on taxes. Okay. Yeah. So wait. I think it's kind of like this Nicola? image. Have you seen this image? Nicola. I don't want to be on Nicholas. Side. Have you seen this image where me and Aiden are the only ones standing normally, and then Beck back and Aiden are very You guys awkward. are on the side of Paul, which is a holy war, and we're on the side of Zendaya, Johnny. which is like freedom from Arrakis. Boring. Boring. Yeah. Her name is what? Johnny. What a loser. Johnny. No, it's Zendaya. Johnny. Her name is Johnny in the movie. What a loser. Johnny Beck. Um, and Paul's name is fucking Mouse no, Guy. No, it's fucking five different names. I never know what to call him. I just call him Paul. Adib. Paul, Lisan Al Gaib, Atreidi. But, um. No, it's Paul Mahadid. He's, he's the Atreidi. desert mouse name. That's, that's the Muhadid, right? Yeah, Muhadid. And then he has a sex Paul Muhadid. calling him, which is like. Yeah. Paul. Yeah, there's like two Paul. different names. No, no, no. Paul Muhadid the, Atreides. The, 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 the Duke of Atreides, of, of Arrakis. Yeah. The Duke of Arrakis. The Duke of Arrakis. Lisan al Gaib. Lisan al Gaib is such but, a fire name. Like, yeah. Lisan al Gaib. Like, I was cool when he wrote that. In fact, you gotta start dick riding me like the way Stilgar does. Shut the know. fuck up. <laughs> All right. Every Are time we... I speak, you gotta say, like, Lisan Lisa al Gaib. Lisa... Yes, free! Yes, free! Do we have when, do we have more do we have more to talk about? Anyone want to want to anyone else want to bring stuff up? So the legend of Korra. No. Uh, hey, I did I did say that in general. I did make the reference. I think we're probably good to wrap it here. If everyone's yeah. good, keep so uh, watch the so, next episode, episode sixty-seven. No, at eighty-seven, right. eighty-seven, eighty-seven. Does anybody have a wreck? Oh, okay, I will recommend. Only yesterday, very chill, relaxing, emotional Studio Ghibli film. Watch it on Max, but uh, that would probably not be on a Max by the end of this, because streaming sucks. Remember, always use Celsius. We'll see you later.